Make no mistake, guys. That strong and independent single mother that's beating her chest when you see her out there in the streets or out here uh, online getting bigged up by her girls and these other feminists, when that bitch goes home, she loses it. She cries in a pillow. Tears on my heart caused by you. Ooh. Man, these bitches are in love with their exes. Again, their ex-husbands. Men that they think, quote, did them dirty. These bitches is flirty. These bitches want you to take on all these issues in their lives. I never forget. I, I got into an argument with my ex-wife one time. I was like, you just use me for your emotional needs. She was like, well, you need to get a heart tamp uh, a heart condom. That's what she said. You need to wear a heart condom then. That's what that bitch had the nerve to tell me, guys. This bitch knew she had issues with the ex she lost her virginity to. This bitch knew she had issues with her first cousin, i.e. her husband, her i.e. her three kids' father. She pulled me into that shit. And as again, in the previous video, guys, I said they want you to be their shit bucket. She wanted to unload all that shit onto me. And I'm supposed to just sit there and be a dummy. Guys, that's what they want from you. And as my ex-wife used to say, she, you just won't yield. Because I refuse to accept that shit. Bitch, how am I supposed to be content with sitting there? You got them telling me I'm supposed to be cool with you still having feelings for your ex. Technically, you say, I'll never run to his aid. I won't sleep with him again. But I, I still have feelings. And my dumb ass sat there. Because I'm believing in shit that's in the movies. Okay, she'll eventually get over it. Get over it. Then on top of that, you got the goddamn kids that figure they can say what the fuck they want to say. I'm supposed to put up with that. I'm dealing with a goddamn daddy that tells that motherfucking ex, come on over here and see me. I'm dealing with a sister that calls defects on me. When I try to discipline the kids, I deal with cousins who fucking she tells me herself they don't like you for whatever reason. And on top of that, when she decides to quit her job to take care of her ailing grandfather, a 97, 96 year old grandfather, I'm there. Her ailing uh, aunt, her dad's sister, her great aunt, who's dying. I'm entertaining her. Do you think any of that shit happened? Uh, 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 made a difference, bro? No. Now, I know you bitches out there are going to be saying, well, you bitter, you're hurt. You just need to choose better. No, I should have got down stuck to my guns, my guts that said never fall in love with a slut because that's what the fuck she was, guys. Guys, these women, this is what these women want from you. They want from you to be the good stepdaddy, still take their kids out for ice cream while she's still out there in the streets getting her cheeks beat by the guy she lost her virginity to. She wants you to be cool with her family. They want you to put up with everything, guys. And they want you to do that shit with a smiley face. I say no, guys. The MGTOW philosophy is the cheat code for dealing with these motherfucking hoes. Just fuck them. Let them suck your dick. And let these bitches just drink your jizz. And save that stepdaddy shit for these motherfucking simps. And that's it. Guys, never be a stepdaddy. Again, I say, whether they do that shit out in the wild? You don't hear, I say this over and over again. Lions don't come into fucking prize 
having step cubs. They eat them motherfuckers or they kill them off. Now, again, you can't kill off her stepkids, but you don't have to meet them motherfuckers. Just fuck her. All right? Remember that, bro. What about this bitch? Peace out.